club Brighton. It didn't look like it after this howler by Tony Norman. Even he won't really understand what happened, but Mark Gall had one of the gifts of all time. 11 minutes gone. Within one more, the Roker men had bounced straight back. They tried to play their way through the home defence, but it was Paul McCarthy whose final touch set up Don Goodman for a neatly taken equaliser. That's his 10th for Sunderland. It was all happening. Still inside the first 20 minutes when Brighton restored their lead, Gary Chivers finding the head of Robert Codner. For once, even Newcastle fans could have been praying for a Roker fight back. Just after the half hour, Tyne and Weir got their wish. The weak punch finding Anton Rogan. And a storming first goal for the Irishman. Amazingly, that was it for the scoring, but only thanks to two fine saves. First, Norman balanced his books with flying reactions to Mark Barham's header. Then, Brighton needed a last-ditch clearance to prevent a bizarre goal. Gary Bennett's up and under, bounced over Perry Digweed, but Stuart Monday just got there in time, but that may not save Brighton.